Pinnat Media, Marty Blackborough, go check him out, yeah? Listen. Growing up I had a dream, something no, no one else could, could see. see. Tell me what it means when your faith has fallen beneath your knees. The people need someone like me to show them photography in public is not a crime, you'll see. Marty go grab the camera, the order is live and ready They got mad though it's legal, abusing power, the petty The donut must be forgetting, the founder of Pinnat Media They're Leaving them sweating, going live on YouTube You can see them regretting, this ain't a joke I ain't playing around, section 43 ain't working if I see you about I'm the legal representation all over my nation So be ready to see me piggy, I will blow your house down So, hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if it is your first time here around here. I've got the mic up and close to my mouth because there's loads of noise coming out of this place behind me. So obviously I'm with Effin Chunky Monkey and uh, before I tell you about where we are today, I just want to touch on some funny events that have already happened today. Now I was up and out of bed at about 9 o'clock, um, waiting, no sorry, 8 o'clock, waiting for Effin Chunky Monkey. And I noticed an unmarked uh, police car that was parked outside my house. Uh, so I went out to go see what they were doing, um, at which point they drove off and left the street straight away. Oh, eh, you know, alright. Then half an hour, an hour later goes by and Eddie arrives down at my house and he goes, Hey, I've just been followed most of the way here to your house by an unmarked police car. I said, it will not blue on it, yes. It will not two, yes. With the wearing face nappers, yes. That's dodgy, isn't it? Dodgy, getting followed like that. I think we might be getting approached here. I'll keep an eye out. That guy behind there, yellow looking. But anyway, so we are here at a place called New Fam. We were actually looking for some of the uh, chemical plants, uh, but we ended up we ended up here. So it's a uh, it's it, it's a uh, I can't even talk. That noise behind me is doing my head in. They make pesticides, you know, fungicides, all that sort of stuff for farming and agriculture. Uh, so we thought, well, listen, it's close to us, so we'll just check in. Do a little audit and um, you know see if they know about photography rights. Check it out. Right, this thing up here is making a lot of noise, so I do apologise if the sound quality is going to be a little bit bad or annoying here. Um, I'll try my best to speak up and keep the mic as close to my mouth as possible. So here's the uh, site, guys. It's absolutely huge. We've got obviously millions of miles of pipes all over and everywhere. It does look to be quite a secure place, to be honest with you. Um, I'm guessing there'll be, um, you know, harmful chemicals and stuff in some of these, so probably why. Yeah, we've got big safety gates, we've got uh, big um, ball cameras and stuff up here. Big ball cameras and that. So, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a sight. We'll just have a look through here. You can see. Not too much, but there's people about working, grafting, We've got forklifts and that knocking about. Everyone seems to be wearing the high vis and helmets, which is always good to see people following health and safety. As PJ Audits would be happy about that. Sorry about that. Bit of crap zoom there. Marty's rubbish camera work coming out to play. But we've, got, we've got some warnings here. Attention, temperature must be taken before entry to site. I wonder if that's just been left there since COVID. So I've noticed that some companies um, are still like going along with um, COVID restrictions and stuff and they haven't just given up yet. Like, yes, I noticed this guy in here, look, he's actually currently wearing his um, face nappy still. Look, it's a bit, yeah. So, um, like I said, some companies are still maintaining the social distancing and you know requiring people to wear face nappies and stuff but I know that I wouldn't unless I was like forced to do so and uh, well I wouldn't even do it if I was forced to so I mean you know like legally mandated etc but it's very dodgy been told to read this guys there we go portable portable telephones CB radios cookers and radio pages must not be taken onto or used on this site. Radio telephones and CB radios installed as fixtures in road vehicles which are required to access the site must not be used. Portable telephones and pages must be left in vehicles parked in the visitor's car park or handed to the security officer for safekeeping if the vehicle has to access the site. 
Exact same sort of rules what you see at petrol stations now, isn't it? When they tell you not to uh, get your mobile phones out and stuff when you're on site. Yeah, there'll be some, um, there'll be some rather flammable, explosive substances, I imagine. Another sign here: any vehicle or person entering the site may be subject to a random search. Well, I'm not going in, so you're not searching me. So yeah, a few people. A few people saw us there filming but uh, didn't challenge us or anything so we're just going to go around to what we think is the main gate now. Right guys, so here we are, round at the main side, the main entrance rather. You can actually see quite a bit more from here to be quite honest with you. So here down here we have gate one, got the reception, so there's, there's a lot to see. Got a few people working over there. I've had to zoom out in, I know it's a bit grainy. Got someone over there as well. I at work sat at that desk. I think he's actually having a good look at us now, is he? Yes, no, maybe. Not too sure. We've got, we've got some workers and stuff down there. Uh, big tanks full of all the crazy chemicals. And we've got obviously just all kinds of different vats and pipe work all over. Non stop. Full of it. I tell you guys, there's a very, very strong fishy smell around here. Really fishy. It's obviously one of these lots pumping out in it, but it absolutely stinks, let me tell you. And I mean, stinks rotten. Good for them. I think he's talking to me, guys. I'm standing here, mate, all right. I'm standing here, man, chill your beans. If you, it's just, so what? Calm yourself down. No, I'm going to do it for me, it's a better vantage point. Well, I am doing it for me, okay? Oh, and that's a civil matter, not a police matter. I know that. Right then, so what are the police going to do? They can't do nothing, so why waste the time? You what? I'm trying to do something. If you bugger off, leave me alone, I can do it. Bugger off, not swearing. Bugger. That's not swearing. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Is he stupid? Bugger. If it's buggers swearing? What a toss pot. I'm, you, I'm sure you're an intelligent man and you can work it out for yourself. What are you doing? So you can't work it out what I'm doing? No, I'm asking you. Work it out for yourself. Well, I'm just asking you a straightforward question. I'm just filming. I'm filming, look. I'm just making a video. No, we don't, we don't allow you to film. Yeah, it's not, it's not your choice, buddy. Yeah, it's my choice. That's that's a, yeah, that's a, it's a civil matter. Be on I can be on your property. No, I'm getting. I've got a vantage point. No, sir. Don't bark orders at me. You're not my dad, and I'm not your bitch. You need to learn the law. Try to tell people what to do. Get the police. I will educate the police and they will not stop me this from doing this. Place. I do this on a regular basis. So you're going to waste their time and everything. Well, we'll see. Well, that's fine. It's fact. You're really going to waste their time and, and um, trespass is a civil matter, not a police matter. The police cannot do anything about it. About if it. I was inside that gate, then they could use reasonable force to eject me. But because I am actually outside of the barrier under section 32 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, I have the right to do it. That is the law. You think so? Yeah. I, I know so. We know so. We will see. We will, uh, once the police come, you can do your walk of shame. I'll also tell you the police probably will not come. Yeah. Stop wasting this time. There's nothing we can do. Oh yeah, and by the way, you're acting like a tyrant. Yeah. I'm a little teapot. 
Naughty, naughty. Da, 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 da. So guys, I noticed um, these cars that they seem to have at these sites, these red and black things that like depicts the fire service, but they're not actually the fire service. They're basically private security. It's weird how they have, they like portray that it's like a fine fighting vehicle when it's not. But mind you, it's like these like private security, they're dressed like police to try and make themselves look like police, don't they? But yeah. Just to show you this wall that I'm on, yeah? Like, look. Look at this wall. That's it. I mean, come on, pull yourself together. Well, no, I, that's a, I won't over exaggerate. Does, I was stood down here as well, actually. But look, this little Get wall. Off that my, wall. My legs, my legs are longer than the wall. Uh, snail, get off that wall! Oh, snail, get off that wall, you! Get off! <laughs> Mental. So, guys, um, me and Eddie are going to call it a day now. Um, we haven't got all day. We might as well go and try film something else and sit here waiting for the feds that don't seem like they're going to come anyway. So, what I'm going to start doing now on audits is, when they fail, I'm going to leave back behind a little token. And that token is this. You've been educated by Pinak Media. So what we'll do is, whenever we've been to a site and they've been educated, we'll leave it there for them. It's a nice little, nice little sign. And, uh, so if, you, if you're out and about and you see one of them signs, it means I've been there. Guys, here's Mr. Tosser. Fuck's sake, fuck that up. Fuck that up. Oh, I'll just give him the finger, guys. Uh, let's see where it comes from. Let's see where it goes, lava. Hey guys, so we're pursuing the security guy now. I knew that as soon as we left, he'd probably leave. And he did, so he's just up there. So we're just going to keep following him. We'll see how long we can follow him for. We're hot on him, we're hot on him. Huh? Unless he's gone down a chemical part down bottom. Yeah, maybe. There he is. He's doing down a UA, right? Stop here, quick, quick, do a UA. We're coming after you! Look. There he is! There he is! He didn't pull off over there, guys. So we found his, secu we found his little security layer, guys. He tried to do a UE and escape on us, but it didn't work that well for him. Really didn't work that well for him. We were hot on his heels. Hot, hot on his heels. Hot on his heels in the tank that is the Range Rover bug. So yeah, we were on it like a car bonnet, guys. Is he in the shed? I think he's probably gone inside the shed on it. Well, that would have probably that would a little bit more interesting end than it probably would have been. But hey, nice little pursuit, guys. Nice little pursuit. So I did already outro the video as we were leaving where we just was, um, but I'll cut that out. So now is the outro. So guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed it. You know what's coming next. Oh, bugger. I hate it when I do that. I hate it. My wire from my mic, it gets in my way all the time. Anyway, guys, you know what's coming next. As always, until the next one, stay safe, peace and respect.